Uh, State Senator Juan Vargas. Thank you very much. One of the uh, odd things of going towards the end here is that most of the things you wanted to say have already been taken. But I, I did want to talk a little bit about the reducing the border weight. I mean, I think that the, the area here needs that, but also Imperial County. I mean, we have to look at this as one region. We can't just look south. We also have to look east. I think we really are one region. They see it that way. I think we should see it that way. We work together. I think that that's very, very important. Um, I also wanted to thank Gary Gallegos. I saw him earlier. I don't know if he snuck out, but I think he's doing a terrific job when it comes to SR-125. We, we need to have that in public ownership now. And we do need to build SR-11. We do need the third border crossing. I think that that's very, very important. I was at uh, Caltrans today, and I know that they're already starting some of the work, the early work on SR-11. So that's very important. I appreciate that. Um, I guess I would also add this, that we do need to learn from each other. We, we do have a lot of similarities and we do have a lot of differences. One of the ironic things here is when you think about Tijuana and you think about San Diego, we're very similar in many ways. Obviously our climate's the same, our geography is very similar, the environment's very similar, and yet when you have catastrophic fires, you know, when you have these very, very destructive fires, they happen on the side that you would expect them not to happen on. In other words, if you think about it, here in San Diego, we have some of the most modern fire apparatus in the world. We have all sorts of attack planes and things that we can bring from the state. We have so much opportunity, really, to knock down a fire. And yet, when fires come, when it's fire season, when you get to Santa Ana's, most of the damage happens on the American side. So much so that you, in fact, have fire engines from Tijuana coming across the border to help us on the American side. Now, obviously, we're doing something wrong, or they're doing something right, but we need to learn. Why is that? Because the irony there is incredible.